Good day and welcome to today's tutorial class. My name is Ulua Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, so for today, we'll be looking into the problem as displayed on the screen. We are to draw the development of the curved side of the frustum of the cone shown in the figure below. The cutting plane RST. We are to take JJ as the joint line, that is, as the same for the development. All right, so the very first thing we need to do here is to, first of all, reproduce the question as displayed on the screen right there. So, and to do that, my very first procedure is to uh, project a thin horizontal line in this order, as you can see on the screen, okay? After doing that, I'm going to actually produce a vertical line. Okay, cutting across that horizontal line like this, in this manner also, like this. All right, so after doing that, my next uh, procedure right here is to, uh, we are told that the base of that uh, cone is 80. So I'm going to pick the radius of that diameter, that will be radius 40. So the bottom is diameter 80, radius 40, with radius 40 sitting at this intersection, I mark left and what and right. Okay, having that in that order right there. So we are told that the height yeah, of uh, the cone itself is 112. So I'm going to pick height of 112 first of all like this. That is the height right here. So first of all, I'm going to draw that downwards faintly like this and like this, as you can see on the screen right here. Okay. Okay. After doing that, from that area, if you look from the top, I'm having a mark of 48. Okay. I'm going to mark that out first of all. Yeah. With my compass, mark of 48. Okay. This is it right here. So from the apex here. This mark of 48 right here. Okay. That is it right there. And also, uh, from the bottom, I'm having mark of 18. Yeah, from the bottom, mark of 18. So, this is 18 here. And from the bottom, mark of 18. That's 18. So, that mark of 18, I'm going to project that first of all, horizontally towards my right hand side. Okay, this way it touches my distance here. Okay, now take note of this. Okay, so from this mark of 48, yeah, a line was subjected at 30 degrees. So with my 30 degrees set square from this mark of 48 right here, do you see? So from this mark of 48, I draw towards the top like that. So I'm going to make it bold to mark of 48 right there, as you can see on the screen. Okay, so then after that, so from where my 30 degrees line touches this area down to mark of 18 right here by what I draw boldly also downward okay in that order then I can now what taking this all the way to the bottom so this one is going to be hidden from here okay then likewise on this axis also Hidden from here, then tick down here. Are okay, and the base right here is going to be what tick also, like this. So, after doing that, uh, let me create something of mark 10. Okay, with that mark 10, I'm going to produce that faintly horizontally, like that. Okay, after doing that. Uh, let's produce our plan. So, to produce my plan, I'm going to pick half of this elevation here. Okay. Standing right here. Please take note of what I'm doing right here. Standing right here, I mark. Marking that. So, coming to this point, I what? I produce my circle. Produce my circle. So, after producing my circle, I'm going to uh, divide this circle into 12 equal parts. All right. So I'm going to ensure this vertical line reaches the bottom here. 
So I'm going to divide it into 12 equal halves offline. Okay, I'm going to divide that offline. Okay, so after dividing it into 12 equal halves, I'm going to do my numbering from this area clockwise. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, then 0 over what? Over 12. Okay, so uh, I'm going to actually provide the full plan right here. Okay, I'm going to create the full plan right here. So, and to actually get that, uh, my first procedure is to actually produce this so from mark 0 and 12 upwards okay one on a level and the same vertical plane i would i project upwards to the base of our what of our code so 2 and 10 are on the same vertical plane i would i project upwards okay three and i already projected so four and eight i project towards upwards five and seven i project towards upwards then mark six I project it upwards okay so as it is now from this area max is dct okay so mark five and seven mark five and seven i'm going to align it to my what to my apex and what draw faintly faintly okay as you can see so this way it actually touches my what the section part okay the cutting plane this way it touches the cutting plane so likewise part four and eight projects to the apex mark 2 and 10 faintly i project to the watch to the apex then mark 1 and 11 i project faintly to the watch to the apex okay so as it is now where each of these lines touches this cutting plane i'm going to watch, bring it downwards so first of all mark 0 and 12 this is this way it touches the apex so from that area i'm going to watch, project a thin vertical line downward so it touches this i'm going to asterisk this right here so next is what mark 1 and 11 which is this okay so from where it touches it i'm going to watch project it downward vertically so for one this is it right here for one and this is it right here for 11. so mark 2 and 10 this is it. this way it touches the what the cutting plane so i'm going to project that also downward vertically faintly ensure it is faint okay faintly so mark two and what and ten okay next is three and i read there so next is four and eight right here so mark four and eight this way it touches right here so from that area i project downward so this way it touches line of four and what line of eight likewise mark seven and five this way it touches the cutting plane from here downward so this way it touches mark five and what and mark seven then mark six this way studies are cutting plane right here so from that area downward and mark six okay yeah i need to be careful okay this is mark six right here so from that area i'm going to pick my french curve and join each of these points all together with my french curve all right okay so that is the shape cutting from this point then i'm going to actually take in this yeah i'm going to make it bold now okay making this bold all right so since this one is actually sectioned so i'm going to pick my 45 degree set square and section this uh area here okay like this Okay, so as it is now, this is what the complete plan of the object on the screen, all right? Okay, so that is it. So remember, this is our mark J and what and J. So we are going to produce the surface development of this uh, curved through stone of the coin, making JJ, okay, as the joint line for development. So for us to actually do this, this area won't actually contain uh, my development so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually pick the total heights okay 
of our object, which is this. That is better height of our object right there. Then I'm going to just come somewhere here. I think this area is okay for me. I'm coming. So this area is okay. let me use this. This area is good for me, like this. Then I'm going to what draw a big arc as you can see on the screen. That big arc. Okay. So drawing that big arc faintly. So this is the midpoint of where I draw the arc from. So I'm going to pick my ruler join from this midpoint to any area right here okay so this will be my mark what mark zero all right i have my mark zero as it is now so the next thing is i'm going to pick a sector of my circle one sector either mark zero to one or one to two which is this then i'm going to step it off right here 12 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay that is it so then on this mark 12 i'm going to join it back to this area faintly okay so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and what and twelve i'm going to drag everything to the midpoint right there faintly okay okay so after doing that what is the next procedure what is the next procedure so from this apex to this mark right here yeah please be careful here to this mark right here do you see so and this area jg aligns with what mark zero and two right here so i'm going to come to the apex here mark on what on zero and on what on 12 on zero and on 12 do you see that okay all right so now i'm going to this junction is for my court this is one and eleven so one and eleven so i'm going to extend it horizontally to the same which is jg okay that is the junction there so I'm going to pick my compass likewise from the apex here, extend to the next one, which is what this on mark GG. So let me zoom it so that you can see what I'm actually picking. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah. So take note from here to this. So this is what I'm picking right there now. To there. Okay. The first one was this first market. The second one was what this next market. So with this now, I come to uh, this midpoint here. Okay, this mark one. You see, I mark it on mark one and eleven right here. Okay, I'm coming. So to take it downwards a little. Yeah. So and on mark eleven that's it on mark 11 right here okay so i'm going to project the next one that is mark what's two and ten okay two and ten like this then i'm going to watch come right here pick on this same on mark jj two and ten so coming right here on mark two that is it right here and on mark ten this is it right here okay next is this which is was three and nine so from here i drag to jj okay so from this midpoint down here that is three and nine right there so from here i mark on what three and what and nine okay next is this which is on what you see on four and eight as you can see so 
I'm going to what? Project to that edge. Yeah, pick my compass and that's it right there. Four and eight. That's it. So standing right here on mark four and on mark eight, as you can see on the screen. So next is this, which is what on five and seven. Okay, this to JJ. All right. So from the apex, pick that length. That's it right there. So right here on mark five and what and seven. Then mark six which is the last mark here yeah so horizontally yeah so to jj so from the apex to mark six which is this then standing right here and i mark on what on six so as it is now i'm going to pick my french curve join each of these points together then what drag it there that is it with my french curve okay okay so the area already joined and i'm going to pick my ruler from this edge down there okay from this edge down here so this is j j j j and i'm going to pick my compass from right here okay to this very area here and what i'm taking this out and it's going to take it out as you can see on the screen right there, taking it out okay so that is the production of uh, the curved system of uh, this truncated code all right so my name remains Oluwa to be blessing or la likon kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it okay so you can also reach out to us for more uh educative videos like this you know assignments practice questions all right and also for tutoring okay thank you and please ensure you like and subscribe yeah to this youtube channel also and refer to your friends who might be in need of it thank you